Monday. Movie. Tonight, a world premiere motion picture. The ABC Monday Night Movie. She had everything. Drives me crazy. She never gave us a minute's trouble. I'm not gonna eat that. Oh, yes, you are. But this is all my fault. I'd rather die. I did the best I could. I don't want to die. I can't stand to see my baby like this. It began in her mind and took control of her body. I promise I'll be good. I'll eat and I'll gain weight. What happened to the best little girl in the world? Up your sister. Mom's making pancakes. Okay. Colts one. Colts, Pittsburgh, and Dallas. Bet you're pretty excited. Daddy, it's not like I'm just starting. I know, baby. I can't believe you're already a high school junior. Excuse me. That was no accident. It was too. I'm not feeling good. More if anyone wants it. Now, I've got to run. I'm late for my exercise class. Joanne, it's the first day of school for crying out loud. Casey, I expect you home right after school. Okay. Yes, sir, please. Mm. Bye. Can't be excused. Not until you eat what's on your plate. For your information, I happen to be sick, Daddy, but as usual, nobody seems to care. Gail! Who told you that? Betsy Lynham. Betsy Lynham. How is she now? She waited until he was writing something on the board, and then she made this funny voice and said, Hey, cutie, are you married? And he turned around, and he got this gleam in his eye, and he just said, To whom it may concern, the answer is no. Okay, where do you sign up for chemistry? The line forms behind me. I'm starving. I'm too nervous, Dee. I'm afraid I'll forget my routine. I know, I'm nervous, so... You know, you've been taking ballet for two years. Everybody knows you're going to make the team. What is that supposed to be? I'm on a diet. You? My mother's got this thing about flab. You're not flabby. You're not my mother. But it's okay. See, the rewards are terrific. Look at this, Casey. Want to see what I get for losing five big ones? 
about that one. Oh, that is gorgeous. No. I'd lose 20 pounds for that. <laughs> You can get back in line now. Hi. My name is Casey Powell, and the reason I want to be a cheerleader is because I love dancing and sports. And I guess that's about it. Okay, Casey, show us what you can do. Get down. Get set. One, two. You gotta get down, you gotta stretch your stuff. You gotta get down, I said, you got to be tough. You got to get down, no messing around. You gotta get down to be the best in town. Knock it off, Chuck, or you can all just get out of here. Hey, Casey, I love the way you move. Sorry, Casey. See if you can pick it up where you left off. You gotta get down, I said, you got to be tough. You gotta get down, don't mess it around. You gotta get down to be the best in town. Come on, Calhoun, get down. didn't get home until five. Made the cheerleading squad. You didn't tell me. How come you didn't tell your mother? You're busy. Joanne? What's the matter? What are you crying for? Honey, what's the matter? Gail's pregnant. Pregnant? It's true, Daddy. She's pregnant? Now, whose child? Whose the hell is it? He's somebody I wouldn't marry anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Good enough to sleep with, but not to marry, huh? That about sums it up. She won't marry him. And she won't have an abortion. I want this child. What the hell for? And I'd like to live here. That's the way it's done these days. Oh, yeah? And who takes care of you? Who pays the doctors and all the other bills? And the bum who isn't even good enough to marry? Frank, this is her home. I mean, if she's in trouble, this is where she belongs. It's my home. 
She's in trouble. I live with it. It's our home, and I'm not in trouble. I'm just pregnant. This is the 80s, Daddy. Just pregnant. Is that the way you were brought up? You talk like a streetwalker. She made an innocent mistake. Now, now getting angry won't change things. It was a stupid mistake. It's not the way you were brought up. It, as you put it, is a biological fact. We're going to give them what they want and hang on to what we want. Here we go. And one, and two, take a shake, take a and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and four. Take a shake, take a and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Take a shake, take a shake, take a shake, plus six. Take a shake, take a shake, take a shake, plus six, plus six, and hold. Beautiful. Hey, pretty good, pretty good. Now turn around. I'm going to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Okay. One and two. And one and two. Degage, degage. And five and six and seven and eight. Degage, degage, degage. Plus six. Degage, degage, degage. Plus six. And plus six. Hold. Good. Hang on. Just hang on. How long can you hang on? <laughs> Shake your bodies. Shake your legs, shake your toes. Glad he's dismissed. Have a good day. <laughs> hey. Hey, you're making progress. Yeah, I can see that. Very good. You've got a dancer's body. <laughs> you want to be a dancer? Do you? <laughs> ah, a couple of pounds left here and there would hurt. You know, if you want to be a. A great dance. You have to be trim and slim. Put your leg up here. Let's see. That's it. You can come more often if you want. Okay. Yeah. Come every day. Yeah? Be a dancer. Ooh. Turn your feet out. That's it. Now just walk out. Okay. And take over the world. <laughs> Thank you, madame. I'll see you. Okay. No milkshakes, remember. <laughs> We'd love to come, Terry. Is there anything I can bring? Are you sure? Daddy, I'm going to Teresa's. Well, all right. Okay, You've given me a great excuse we'll to buy a new late. dress. I'll see you later, Mommy. Uh, oh, terrific. We'll go together. Uh, Casey! Wait just a second. W where do you think you're going? I'm going to Julie's to study. Do you have to spend 24 hours a day with that girl? We're working on a report together. I won't be home late. I'll call you right back, Terry. Casey! You want to leave her alone. I don't like Julie, and I don't want her spending so much time with her. Ready to go? Please invite your friend in, Casey. It's cool. Hello, Mrs. Powell. Hello, Jim. I don't see why you girls can't study here. Oh, um, we're working on a French report and all the stuff's at my house. Well, I'd like Casey home by 10.30. 10.30? No problem. We better get going. But don't forget, Casey. 10.30 sharp. Yes, Mother.
Bye, Julie. See you in school. You're late. I, I'm sorry. We want to finish the report. When I say 10.30, I mean 10.30. Did you get everything done? I'm sure I'll get there. I'm beat. Good night, Mommy. How long before it shows? Play off. And watch your mouth. All right, Gail. You win. You made me lose my temper. You happy now? Casey, what is going on with you and the food on your plate? It looks like a battleground. Daddy, I can't eat all this. I'm on a diet. Since when? Madame Surratt, she wants me to lose a few pounds. Well, it wouldn't hurt. I remember I had to watch my weight when I was a young dancer. Of course, I was really serious about dancing. You look perfect just the way you are, Casey. Daddy, it's just a couple of pounds. I know how you feel, Casey, but you're not going to be a professional dancer. Madame thinks I'm really good. Don't contradict your mother. Of course your teacher thinks you're good. If she told you you were lousy, you'd quit and she'd be out the money. When you grow up, you'll realize there are more important things in life. Being a good wife and mother. But you've always wanted me to dance. Look, I've had enough of this. Just finish your dinner. Mom has a great dessert. She spent all afternoon making it. I'm sorry I was close with you. 
You're a good kid, and your mom and I appreciate it. You've never given us any trouble. That's why we love you so much. yourself. This is the juiciest bird I ever put a knife to. Just right. Want some more? No. Pass the potatoes, please. Thank you. Now, that's what I call a healthy appetite. I'm eating for two. She's eating for two, and she eats for nobody. Something wrong with it? What? Your food. No. Then eat it. I'm not hungry. It's Thanksgiving. Your mother goes to a lot of trouble to cook your favorite meal, and then you just sit and stare at the food. Why don't you let her breathe? Breathe? We have. For two months, we haven't said a word. And we watched her eat less and less. And now we got a very disturbing letter from school. What? She's failing, Frank. Three subjects. Well, why didn't you tell me? All right, that's the end of your stupid diet. I've only lost a couple of pounds. I said that's the end. You look sick and scrawny. You're failing. My dance teacher doesn't think so. She said to keep up the good work. I don't care what she says. I'm your father, and I said it's gone far enough. Now, you eat your dinner. Oh, my God. Get up. Casey, what have you done? Your bones. Oh, Mom. Don't you love her. Mom, don't you love her. You're jealous. You're fat and jealous. Eighty-three point six. 
If I remember correctly, that's quite a drop. Last April, you weighed 108. Since then, you've lost uh, 24 pounds. Well, just since the beginning of school. I mean, it's all happened within the last few months. Okay, Casey, why don't you get up here? <clears throat> okay, let's have a look. Can I have some privacy? Oh, yeah. Uh, Joanne, would you mind grabbing yourself a cup of coffee and wait in my office? Any pain here? What about here? Uh-uh. So, you're dieting. Well, I had to for dance. And I'm a cheerleader. I mean, I can't get out in front of everybody looking like a pig. Mm. How do you think you look right now? Okay. Okay? Well, there are still some flabby spots. When was your last menstruation? Last menstruation. Huh? Last time you had your period. I don't know. I guess I'm a little late. How late? Hey, I'm not Gail. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> All right, give me some idea how late. Hmm? How late? I don't know, six weeks, six or seven. It might seem strange to you, Doctor, but up until now, she hid her weight fairly well. But that wasn't what really concerned us. Not half as much as the way she's changed. She's become, I don't know, a totally different person. Strange. I'm going to send Casey to the lab for some tests. But I think the weight loss is deliberate. So for openers, Casey, we've got to get you to eat some more. Now, I'm going to give you some medication that will help your appetite. And, uh, I'd like Casey to see a psychologist. A psychologist? Clay Orlovsky. He's a maverick in the field, but he's had great success in handling cases like this. What are you talking about? Anorexia nervosa. Self-starvation. Usually it's found in an adolescent who feels she has no control over anything in her life, so she denies her hunger in order to have control over at least one thing, her body. Also has something to do with the fear of growing up, of uh, sexuality. Anorexia girls lose their breasts, stop having periods. In general, they revert to a childlike system. It's a very serious disease. Last year, 5,000 girls died from anorexia nervosa. Casey's never had a sick day in her life. Joanne, it's not caused physically. I think it's spreading because of everybody's preoccupation with thinness. Right, look at your fashion magazines. The models look like six-week-old cadavers. Half the country is dieting with a lot of casualties, like Casey. She has every sign of having anorexia nervosa. She's already lost 20% of her body weight. Her blood pressure is alarmingly low. She hasn't had a period in almost two months. Now, we can't waste time. She needs help, and she needs it now. Because if this continues, Casey, if you keep starving yourself, I'm going to have to put you in a hospital just to keep you alive. What can I do for you, Casey? What do you mean, Dr. Orlovsky? Clay. Generally, people who come here have a problem that they want to straighten out. What's your problem? I don't have any problems. Garrett and my parents, they think I'm losing too much weight. Your parents think that. So they want to help you put on some weight. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you want? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, if you decide to come here and have therapy with me, 
What do you want on it? I don't know. You uh, want me to get to know you? Why? Oh, so I can share your feelings, your thoughts, your fears, so you won't feel so alone and distant from everyone. What if I don't know what my problems are? Well, hopefully, we can find them out together. We won't see them clearly today, but we'll see signs of them. Yeah, like what? Like being uncomfortable, not being able to eat, not being able to stop eating. How many times a day do you vomit? I don't. Now, listen, Casey, if you don't want to tell me something, say so, but don't lie to me. Because if this is going to work, I'm going to have to invade your privacy as much and as often as I can. Because the only way I can help you is by knowing. There are no uh, right or wrong answers in therapy, only the way you feel. So, what do you think? You want to come back? Say, um, twice a week? Yeah, I guess so. What's holding you up? Come on, let's go to work. Why are you still wearing your warm-up clothes? It's cold. <laughs> Nobody else is cold. Take them off and conform to the rules of the studio. Come on, Casey. Grow up. I don't want to run a kindergarten here. I really don't. Set, go. Développé, développé, arabesque. Oh, you want some sugar for that? Uh-uh. I um, had them put it in at the coffee shop across the street. Coffee shop across the street gives you little packages when you ask for sugar. You tricked me. Ah, you lied to me. You don't want sugar, say so. Don't lie to me, please. You're just trying to get me fat. Anyway, sugar is bad for your pancreas. I'm not trying to get you fat. I'm trying to keep you out of a hospital. I don't want to talk about that. Now, what do you want to talk about? Have you put any weight on this week? Can we ever talk about anything besides my weight? Sure, sure. Like what?
What are you doing? Well, it happens to be the time of year when parents get sentimental, Casey. Your mother and I came up here to look for a scrapbook. Instead, we found this. A little chemical supply of diet remedies. Your pills, your laxatives, your suppositories. Where did you get all this stuff, Casey? You got enough junk in here to kill a plow horse. You got your whole damn drugstore. You didn't have any right to come in here. That's a hell of a drink you got. He's really doing an incredible job. Stop it. Ow! Stop! Frank! Just stop it! The funny things are over, Casey. Dead and finished. From now on, I'm in charge. Not your mother. Me. I'm going to make things very simple. No more doctors. And no more pills. And you're going to eat, Casey. Whether you like it or not. I ate at the party. Oh, I bet you did. I bet you had two potato chips and then vomited your guts out. Well, that's all over. From now on, you're going to eat. It's going to stay in your stomach. Even if I have to sit here with you all night. I'm not hungry. I hate peanut butter. Here's some chicken from dinner. I can warm it up. I told you to keep out of it. All I'm saying is she should have something nourishing. Sure. Keep pampering her, Joe. You'll end up at a funeral. I'm not going to eat that. Oh, yes, you are. You eat. Eat! Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. Eat! Stop it! Ah! Ah! Good. You ought to be locked up. You ought to... Crazy! You mean I'm trying to oh, shut up? Leave her alone! Stay out of here! Stop shouting, Frank. You're always shouting! Well, thank God somebody does something around here. You let them get away with murder. The books are screwed up. It's pathetic. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year to my happy, happy family. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Daisy, you up? make you and Daddy a little surprise. These pancakes are delicious, Casey. going to pick me up after the game today? I said I would. What time should I be there? Um, if you pick me up at about 4.30, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You said you'd go with me to my Lamaze class today and that we could pick out the fabric for the nursery. Well, what time is your class? Four. Puts me under a lot of pressure. I mean, I can't be two places at one time. But, Mom, you know we have to do the exercises together. Hmm. It's 20 after. I'll miss the bus. Casey? Who are you guys playing? Jackson. I'll see you later. How will you get home? Don't worry. Is 
sweetheart. You know I love you, don't you? Hey, uh, you guys beat the daylights out of Jackson. They don't deserve to be in first place. That thing she does with her fork is so weird. At least she ate. She cooked for us, and she ate without anybody forcing her. I'm almost afraid to say it, but I think... I think maybe I got her over the hump. I wouldn't bet on it. happy now? You win. You've made me feel more miserable than we ever have in our whole lives. Get out the old club and beat the hell out of your parents. Isn't that it, Casey? Humiliate them, make them responsible for the fact that you've decided to give up life at 17. Well, I can't just wait till we get in the well, car. Well, I don't accept that responsibility. I don't accept it for your mother. You don't appreciate a damn thing we've ever done. Casey! Casey, what's the matter? Casey! Casey, what's the matter? Casey, my baby, Casey! Frank! <laughs> Doctor, I had no idea her not eating would get this serious. Well, anorexia is more than just a problem of not eating. 
She looks so terrible that... that she's dying. She almost did. She's going to be here for a while. H how in the world did this happen? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. But right now we're concentrating on getting some meat back on her bones, getting her strong enough to respond to therapy. When can we see her? Well, in her condition, anything that upsets her has to be avoided. It would be better for her and probably you too if you didn't come back to see her for a while. Why? Is something wrong? Casey, she's been calling constantly. I, I, I just stopped picking it up. Hello? Daddy, please, I want to come home. Please, Daddy. I hate it here. Honey, it's for your own good. It's freezing here. I'm cold every second. And they don't care. I even trying to eat dinner, Nanny. But the, but the food is disgusting. It smells like it's full of germs. I'll talk to somebody, I promise. No, Nanny, I want you to come and take me home. I, I promise I'll be good. I'll eat and I'll gain weight. I'll do anything that you want me to. Honey. There isn't anything in this world I wouldn't do to make you happy, but you're not coming home. Not until you're better. Not until the doctors tell us you're cured. I'm sorry, but the answer has to be no. I can't believe you just did that. We had to. Going tonight. 
nowhere. Well, that's where you ended up because you were too weak to go anywhere else. Want to talk? Hungry? Oh. I'm sorry. And when I'm tired, I always ask silly questions. Play backgammon. Chess? You like puzzles? I like puzzles. Couldn't get nothing as a kid. Used to collect them. My brother, he'd hide the pieces. I just about had the puzzle completed. I couldn't find the missing pieces. I think it amused him to watch me scurrying about, trying to find two pieces of a white cloud. Or three pieces of George I'm Washington's tired, right eye. Clay. And then, when I got tired of looking for the missing pieces, I'd cry, and then he'd bring over the missing pieces, and he'd laugh. And he always said, he always said the same thing. You're too young for puzzles if you cry over missing pieces. Yep. Do you know what I learned from him? The moral of the story? What? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I still go up the wall if I can't find the missing pieces to this very day. I suppose there's a message in all this. No. None. I just wanted to see if you were listening. You see... You say you're not sick. You want to go home, so you run away. But you don't have the strength to cross the street. That's a puzzle. Hey, you get some sleep, feel better. And uh, I'll be around if you want to talk to me. so chipper about? Not so much. Heard it rain last night. Oh, you have a wonderful sense of humor. Now, if I only could get you to eat. Huh? Oh, good morning. Had you got a little wet last night. I'm Carol Link. I'm Casey Powell. Congratulations. You know, you really shook him up around here. I'm impressed. For a beginner, you did good. Been here two weeks. It's not as bad as hospitals go. Last one I was in was a real dump. How many have you been in? Four, counting this. Took me seven months to get out of the last one. Seven months? Yeah, it took, <laughs> took me a long time to con them. See, like, they like to think they can cure you. So you put on enough weight till they think you're better. Once you're out, you lose it again. No big deal. And how come you're back? I got careless. They got some new drugs they want to try on me. See if they can cure my bulimorexia. What's that? What's bulimorexia? I got a lot to teach you. Bulimorexia is binging, then getting rid of it. See, it's kind of like eating through the refrigerator, mm -hmm. then hitting the pizza joint, burger places, donut shops, wherever you can eat, you eat. I can eat three weeks nonstop. I can win awards. If you eat like that, then how come, I mean, how come you don't weigh 500 pounds? Vomiting. I'd rather not eat. So would I, but um, I can't help it. Sometimes I heave 10 times a day. Doctors tell me it's dangerous, but, um... It's better than being fat. So, what are you here for? Get cured? My parents put me in. 
I want to get out. Well, if you want to get out, there's some tricks you have to learn. I mean, they watch you like a hawk around here. Everything you eat, they weigh you every day. So Please. Like, no. I want you in your room now. Coming, mother. <laughs> Stick with me, you know. And don't waste your time with the nurses. They're uh, not worth it. The doctors are much more sympathetic. Okay. Later. Drastic. She could go into shock at any time. She remains dangerously malnourished with hypotension. Her Billy Rubin's elevated. BUN indicates incipient renal dysfunction, which relates directly to low blood supply and an overwhelming concentration of toxins. That's all three, Clay. Heart, liver, kidneys. She goes on hyperal just as soon as I get hold of Vincent Schuster and that's the end of it. Is it gonna hurt a lot? You may be a little uncomfortable. I promise I'll try and eat anything you want. It's a little late for that, Casey. You need more nourishment now than you got with the IV. We've got to give you extra amounts of nutrients by connecting a special device through one of your veins. Hello, Casey. I'm Dr. Schuster. I want you to try and relax. We're going to take good care of you. This is my assistant, Dr. Norman. Hi, Casey. The other doctors are here to observe what we're doing. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry, Casey. I know it's a little cold. Just want to make sure the area we're working on is nice and clean. Okay, please. Come on. Thank you. Okay, local. Just lie very still. I'm going to give you a couple of shots just to numb the area that we'll be working in. Okay, okay. Don't move. Don't move. Only burns for a couple of seconds, Casey. More light again. All right. I'm going to give you one more shot. You're not going to feel it as much as the first. Okay. Don't move your arm. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Uh-uh. Fifteen blade, please. Fifteen blade, Doctor. Okay. First and second. Spot, please. Second incision. Find down here. All right, give me uh, one of those mosquito points, eh? And you'll pick up the opposite thing. All right? Okay, ligate well, the external jugular nerve. Give me the catheter. Okay. You'll take the catheter. All right, the veins are good there. Okay, passing in easily. All right, an inch closer to the heart. I've got it. Call for an X-ray now. got you. I knew they would. I said you almost died. It really freaked me out the first time I was on hypo. The first time? Yeah, three times. Three different hospitals. I told you I'm a pro. 
When you feel a little stronger, I'll teach you how to exercise with that. I can walk up and down the halls as fast with it as I can without. You'll learn. I don't want to learn. You will. Just don't get too good. It's just I like to be the sickest, that's all. You know, everybody's got something they like to be better at than somebody else. For me, it's anorexia. You like Clay Olofsky? He's all right, I guess. Is he like you? How would I know? Anyway, I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, well. Wish you luck. See you later. I feel bored. Bored. Still weak? Like a freak. I don't belong here. Yes, you're a very sick girl. You almost died. I don't mean just the hospital. It's, it's everything. I never fit in. I never fit in anywhere. Not here, or at home, or any place else. But isn't it possible? Since you expect to be rejected, you send out vibes saying you don't want to belong. Now, isn't that possible? What would you do? That's a very good question. I would probably think up a lot of little tricks that would protect me from not belonging. I am... Um, I have tricks... to protect me. People's bad feelings. You have to tell me them and get rid of them. I can't. I know it's hard, but it's the only way. Next time, okay? I promise, I promise you I'll do it next time. No. Just one. Tell me one. I can't let the food touch my lips. I have to get it off the fork without letting it touch my lips. Tell me some rituals that have nothing to do with food. No. Come on, you're doing great. You know, you know how, like, you're not supposed to sit on a public toilet seat? Because you could get a disease or something? Well... Well... I won't sit on any toilet seat. Not even the one in my own bathroom. I used to think that you could get pregnant by sitting on a toilet seat. That's really sick, isn't it? No. Not wanting to get pregnant isn't sick, not at your age. I don't ever want it. I don't ever want to have kids. No. Maybe that's another reason why you don't eat. Your body won't mature, you won't be attractive to men, and you won't get pregnant. Casey, you're a slave to these rituals. They must make you very tired. I can't stop them. No, but we can deal with them in another way. Look, you just told me your fears, that you were scared to death to tell anyone, and the sky didn't fall down, did it? No. Because you shared them with me. Maybe we can do the same thing with eating. No. No, I, I, I couldn't do that. I can't. Casey, you just told me you weren't strong enough to share your secret rituals with me, but you did. Share a meal with me. I don't think I can. I'm just asking you to try. Give it some serious thought. 
May I go now? No. Stay here, will I? We'll talk some more. Bad, huh? Bet you've never seen a hospital room like this before. Where did you get all these? I used to race dirt bikes in my younger and saner days. Ooh, what's that? This, my friend, is ammunition for future binges. When the compulsion hits me, I'll be ready. You mean you actually eat that stuff? Hey, what are you acting so superior for all of a sudden? You're the one who let them stick that tube in your body, remember? It's nothing but sugar, you know. Pure poison. They violated you and you let them. I didn't want them to. They forced me. I don't buy that. You could have fought. You could have pulled it right back out. I did. I guess that takes guts. Something you don't seem to have. Hey, um, one pack of cigarettes? No, thank you. Look, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You're still a beginner. Thing is, um, I won't be here to help. I'm out tomorrow morning and discharge. No. Why? It's real easy to fool them around here. I haven't vomited in a week. I've gained three pounds. They think I'm safe. I wish you weren't leaving. Well, now we have to let them think you're safe, too, that's all. I'm scared. I'm scared if, if I start to eat, I won't be able to stop. Haven't you done it before? Eaten so you could get someone off your back, like your folks? Yeah. We'll do it again. You can't stay here forever. We have some great times waiting for us, but not in here. Sometimes I think I'm better off here than I am at home. At least here they pay attention to me. I can get attention anywhere I want. I sure don't need this. And forget going home. Parents don't understand what you're going through. I split when I was 16. I have my own place now. I'm thinking of starting design school in the fall. This dump has seen the last of Miss Carol Link. You see, I could never do any of those things. Sure you can. Sure, when you get out of here, I'll teach you some good stuff. We'll be friends, okay? I'd like to be your friend. Very much. I mean, we understand each other. Yeah. Well, I gotta start packing. You'll be out of here before you know it. No problem. Give me a call. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck's my little name. Hey, 
Hey, you know, if you cut your hair, you could lose a few pounds. pills to do this. Okay, Sergeant defibrillator, 400 watt seconds. Paddles are ready. Okay, stand clear. Okay, again, again, come on. Go, come on. Paddles are ready. Okay, clear.
plans, I know, she told me. I know, but she can't dissolve all of us. Her plans, her sense of humor, all a con. She couldn't share her fears and rituals like you have. She quit. You quit. You let her die. I did the best I could. I didn't get her in time. You don't feel anything. I feel. What? I feel... Loss. Loss. It hurts. It's going to be okay. Come on. Come on. Casey. hoping you'd be wearing that new blouse I bought you last week. I, I spent the whole afternoon picking it out. This one's fine. Uh, why don't we all sit down? Does it matter where we sit? Probably.
Bush thoughts. Why not you? Well, I'm, uh, I'm kind of new at this. What do you want me to say? How do you think she looks? She looks good. Why don't you tell the truth, Daddy? Isn't that what we're here for? Well, actually, we're here because I want to see how all of you deal with each other. Okay. If this is supposed to be family dynamics time, we might as well start with me. The troublemaker. The bad seed. That's not true, Gail. Mrs. Powell, Gail is a grown woman. She's about to have a baby. She can speak for herself. I just think she's exaggerating. Gail, yeah, would you continue, please? I'm not exaggerating. Every time I sneeze, I get into trouble. She was always a good one until now, a little Miss Perfect. I don't know why they always had to pick on me. Maybe it was because I was the oldest and she was the baby. Maybe they were just uptight and they didn't know how to handle me. We were not uptight. The two of you are just... different. Maybe we're not so different. Maybe Casey just had to starve herself to get your attention. And maybe that's just your own interpretation. You see what I mean? He doesn't want to listen. Gail, just stop it. Now, if you weren't seven months pregnant... What would you do? Spank me? Right here in front of the doctor? You ought to be spanked because all you're doing is just showing off. One thing to be honest and it's something else to have a sassy mouth. Yeah, well, you both just stop it. Is this how you usually all get along? No. Yes, it is. This is it, Dr. Olasky. The way it almost always is. Well, what about Casey? Uh, where does she fit in? That's what drives me crazy. She never gave us a minute's trouble. I mean, up until all this happened, you hardly ever knew she was around. You know, it's interesting you put it that way. Look where she is right now, over there by herself. Casey. Do you always go away by yourself when the fighting starts? What do you mean? I mean, when things get noisy, do you go away by yourself and let Gail get all the attention? I don't want that kind of attention. Huh. What kind of attention do you want? I... I don't know. I think you're pushing Casey too hard, Mr. Olofsky. She's not well. Mrs. Powell, this is part of the problem. You three fight, Casey withdraws, Gail gets all the attention. Who needs that kind of attention? Frank, please open your eyes. When Casey was a good, sensible girl, you ignored her. Now that she's sick, she gets more attention than she's ever gotten in her whole life. What's the point of getting better? If she's going to lose all that attention. Are you trying to say that I'm the cause of all this? I'm trying to get all of you to start paying a lot more attention to Casey. As a family, you must encourage her to depend upon you emotionally. Otherwise, she's going to remain as helpless and as isolated as she is right now. Oh. All I ever wanted in my whole life... to make my children happy. My God. Please, Frank. No, nobody's blaming you. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I can't stand to see my baby like this. Honey. I love you. If this is all my fault... I'd rather die. How do you feel about all this, Casey? I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want it, and I hate it. What do you hate? My family. I... I hate them. But I want them. 
And I hate wanting them. Why do you hate it? I hate wanting. Wanting something means that you'll never get it. Haven't we always given you what you wanted? Every, everything you've asked for. Tell me one damn thing that I ever asked for. What? When did I ever ask for? I, I asked for nothing. And that's what I got. Gail got intended for screwing up. And I got nothing for being good. Nothing from you. And nothing from Daddy. That is not true. I love you. I wanted you to have everything. Everything that you wanted me to have. You don't let me choose my own clothes. You never like my friends, so I don't have any friends. And I can't take this pressure. Don't talk to your mother like that. Daddy, for once in my life, I am telling you how I feel. I... I just want you to love me. No matter what I do. Casey. You were terrific in there. Yeah. Why don't I feel so terrific? Oh, they'll be back again next Thursday. You're good. You told your real feelings. Honestly, he's not going to chase them away. It may take them a while to face up to it. But they do love you. You know that. Why couldn't I have said those things before? Not important. You said them. Not the important things to hold on to the feeling. Let me go, aren't you? It's up to you. You gotta go home sometime. I won't be able to eat, I know it. Well, that's up to you, too. But I think you learned one thing today. That starving yourself is a slow form of suicide. You don't want that kind of attention. Not from your family, not from anyone. You don't want to be sick. I don't want to be sick. Right. Push you with me today? Come again. You've, uh, you've got two of everything on your tray. My, that's a classic observation. Mm. You're being pushy with me? Cheeseburger, french fries, salad. Oh, my heaven. <laughs> what have we here? Mm. Ice cream. Thank you. 